Inside your hot wave box, you will find one hot wave unit equipped with a 25 foot cord with built in GFCI protection and a 6 foot hose section with a standard 5 8 inch connector, a use and care manual, a quick start guide, and a one year limited warranty. Connect hot wave water connection to a standard garden hose by twisting the female fitting onto the male end of the hose. Connect the end of the hose that is not connected to hot wave to a water source and turn on the water. Once water is turned on, pull the trigger to initiate flow through hot wave. This is important. Engage trigger to purge air from hot wave. Air will sputter out for approximately five seconds. Once water is continuously coming out, continue holding the trigger for another 5 seconds and point hot wave upwards to make sure all air is removed from hot wave. Optional. Determine if an extension cord is needed. If using an optional extension cord, the extension cord must be UL listed for outdoor use, rated to 15 amps, be 50 feet or less in length, and use a minimum 14 gauge cord. Connect hot wave power cord to the extension cord. Do not plug the extension cord into an outlet at this time. Plug hot wave electrical power cord into a GFCI protected wall outlet or extension cord if needed. Press and release the reset button located on hot wave electrical power cord GFCI. The light on the GFCI should turn solid green. Squeeze the trigger again and check the power indicator light on top of hot wave for indication that the heating has begun. This is signaled via a 5 second blinking pattern. After the 5 second blinking pattern, the power indicator light will change to a solid green color and will remain lit as water flows through the device. Now you are ready to begin using hot wave.